Welcome to Math 218. My name is Brian Fitzpatrick, and I'll be your instructor this semester. Now, the way this class is organized is if you're enrolled in the course, you are enrolled in a lecture section and a discussion section. The lectures are all taught by me, and the discussion sections are led by one of our five discussion leaders. Um, in addition to discussion leaders, we also have some undergraduates uh, helping us out this semester. Uh, Blake will be uh, holding office hours, and Zach will be running the SAGE study groups. Now, what you're looking at here is a typical week in your life as far as this course is concerned. Every Monday morning, the same thing will happen. At 6 a.m., there will be lessons released on the course webpage. Each topic that we cover has a quiz associated to it, which is released through Gradescope. And in addition to a quiz, every topic also has a problem set associated to it, which is also released in Gradescope. Throughout the week, we'll work through our uh, material. Uh, so we lecture Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Thursday is uh, discussion day. Now, um, what is the deadline for your quiz in problem sets? Um, that's the following Tuesday at 10 p.m. So you get um, eight days to work on uh, your material. Now, how about grades? Grades break down as follows. The first 8% of your grade is your performance on the problem sets. Now, those are templated out inside of Gradescope. So it is your responsibility for every problem set to go into Gradescope, download the PDF, either print out the PDF and write your solutions in the PDF, or work on a tablet. Work in a tablet generally turns out great. Um, collaboration on problem sets is absolutely encouraged, but I require that you write your own original solutions. Do not plagiarize. Um, late work is not accepted. And to submit your problem set, what you need to do is you need to get the Gradescope app, uh, which works for Apple and Android, scan your solutions, and then upload to Gradescope. Uh, the next 8% of your grade is your performance on the comprehension quizzes. Those are taken directly inside of Gradescope with the same sorts of rules that apply to problem sets. The next 10% of your grade is your um, attendance during discussions. Um, so you, all you need to do to get your discussion uh, 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 credit is just show up to every discussion. Um, now, if for whatever reason you have um, an excused absence for discussion, you need to email me, preferably ahead of time, so that we can sort something out. Uh, the next 42% of your grade is your performance on the three midterms. The first one is on September 29th, the second is October 27th, the third, December 1st. Those are all on Fridays. So you absolutely need to make sure that you're there for the midterms. Finally, the last 32% of your grade is your performance on the final exam. The final exam is a three hour cumulative exam, which is on December 14th from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, we don't have a location yet, but as soon as we do have a location, I'll make sure to advertise it. And uh, my policy when it comes to excused absences on midterms is that if you have an excused absence on a midterm, your performance on the final exam will replace your excused midterm. Now, um, uh, for those of you receiving SDAO accommodations, please reach out to me right now. So pause the video, send me an email. Um, you'll, uh, uh, and and uh, we can kind of talk about um, uh, accommodations here. So this only applies to people receiving uh, uh, accommodations through SDAO. Um, now, uh, a really important thing for you is the course webpage. The course webpage is located at my personal site, which is bfits.xyz. I'll actually tour you, uh, I'll show you a tour through that website in a moment. So this is really just there for your reference. Um, now, in terms of resources, there's really nothing that you need to buy. Everything is on the course website. However, if you want an extra resource, um, we have you drawn from this book in the past, which is kind of a classic. This is uh, Gilbert Strang's famous introduction to linear algebra. So if you want to, you can use this as an extra resource, but it is not required for the course. Now, um, what about getting help? So uh, the primary way to get help is to attend office hours, which are all organized here. So I have office hours, every discussion uh, instructor has office hours, and uh, Blake will hold office hours. And, and those are all organized on this calendar. Um, in addition to this, um, uh, the Academic Resource Center will host study sessions that can be done in groups. I'll, um, the information about that will be announced once we have all those times and dates pinned down. Now, I have some expectations. The first uh, 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 type is academic. When you are in this class, you need to keep pace. That's maybe the most important thing. 
You need to work through lessons as soon as they come out and we uh, uh, discuss them in class. Procrastination is bad. The next thing is that I expect that you participate. Attendance in lecture is mandatory. If attendance starts dropping, I'll start taking attendance and incorporate that into your grade. So you need to come uh, to come to lecture, you need to come to discussion, and I want everyone to come to office hours. Communication is important. If for whatever reason you do find yourself falling behind or struggling, make sure you reach out to me sooner rather than later. And um, another important thing is that you'll need to practice the way you write solutions. That's a key part of this course, is learning how to communicate your ideas. I also have some behavioral expectations. We do more and more things over the internet these days, and when you do things over the internet, it's easy to forget that the person on the receiving end of your communication is a person, so make sure you're always being nice. Uh, you also need to be patient. Uh, this course has lots of students with lots of personnel. Um, from time to time, something is bound to be miscommunicated. That doesn't mean that um, I, I don't want to fix the uh, uh, sort of uh, error, but um, if you do notice something that's wrong, just politely send me an email and say, hey, I think this thing is wrong and I will happily get to it. So again, be nice. Uh, also be humble. Um, there might be, I mean, I'm not assuming anyone knows anything about the subject in this course, but you may think that you've seen something before, but I've seen so many times people kind of ignore things if they think they've already learned it. And um, what they realize later is, oh, the way we did things is not necessarily the way that you did them when you learned them whenever. So always come in um, with a fresh set of eyes. And finally, humor me. Remember, the point of taking a math course is to learn the math. So always remember that whenever we're interacting. Now, what I want to do is take you uh, to my course, uh, to, to my personal webpage and just briefly walk you through the course webpage. Remember the URL here is very simple, bfits.xyz. If you go to the top here, you'll see uh, an item called Math 218. Click on that. What this takes you to is the schedule of topics that we'll work through. So the landing page here is organizing everything we cover in the course. For, and uh, one thing that always happens is that if you click on the name of the topic, that will take you to the slides that I lecture through. So for example, the welcome slides that I just went through can be found by clicking on um, the uh, 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 title of the lesson. So you always have a record of what happens in class. Um, you'll notice to the right, we have this column called resources. Every topic that I do has a YouTube video associated to it. So if you want extra material, you can uh, see me lecturing on YouTube uh, by clicking that link. And then from time to time, there'll be extra resources here. If we go to the top here, you'll see to the right of the title of the course are these icons that you can sort of hover over and click. Um, let's conclude this welcome video by uh, explaining what these icons mean. The first one is takes you to the um, list of topics. That's kind of the home page. The next one is this calendar emoji. If you click on the calendar emoji, this will take you to an embedded Google calendar, which organizes all of the important dates and times for the course. So if you ha ever have a question of the form, when and where does something occur, the first thing you should do is just go to the calendar um, and hopefully um, the calendar will have an answer to your question. The next icon is a um, Zoom icon. That is for my Zoom office hours, which occur Tuesday mornings. So if you wanna to go to my Zoom office hours, Tuesday mornings, all you gotta do is click that icon and it'll take you directly to the Zoom room. So I try to keep it simple. The next icon takes you to Gradescope. That's where all of the assignments are distributed and collected. Uh, the next uh, is this scroll icon. If you click on that, that'll take you to a PDF, which is more of like a formal course policies document. And finally, this folder icon, click on that, and this will take you to some of my old exams and solutions, which you might want to use for extra study for the exams, um, but it's totally not uh, uh, required. So if you click back to the um, list icon, that takes you to the course webpage. The last thing I'll leave you with is because Gradescope is such an important part of this course, and because you have to scan in your homework to Gradescope, I've included um, uh, under the resources uh, column, a link to the Gradescope app for both um, iOS and Android phones. So uh, a nice thing to do right now would just be to go ahead and get that app to make your life a little bit easier once the um, uh, assignments start to, um, start to take over your lives. So um, uh, I look forward to meeting everybody on Monday. Feel free to come up and say hi to me after lecture. I, I, love, I love meeting new students every year um, and I'll see you then.